<laughs> so to normally if I want to buy one of these cars, uh -huh. I have the money. Yeah. I can take the car in how many hours? What, 24 hours? Uh, you, when, if, for example, you pay cash here, I think you would uh, receive the car maybe in like six, seven hours. By the end of the day, like I can give you, if you buy it now, I can give you the car around five o'clock, six o'clock. Yep, you heard me right. It only takes seven hours to bring home a supercar, which normally takes a year or more. That's the magic of the supercar market in Dubai, which as you can see from pictures, is flourishing. I went into one of the most high-end dealerships in the city to understand all this, and I admit that what I saw was hard to believe. But all that glitters is not gold. Get ready to start window shopping for free. Dealers like First Motor are all located on Sheikh Zayed Road, which is the longest and widest highway in Dubai. They are luxurious multi-brand dealerships with less flashy structures than the official dealers, but still huge and full of cars that are not only very expensive, but also rare, such as the Bugatti Chiron Le Legende du Ciel, of which there are only 10 examples in the world. Here it is, available for immediate delivery at $4.8 million. Too much? Follow me on this walk. This one is a 765 LT Spider, the first one in the world for sale. Okay. And you know you, this is and a track. You, you obtained this car here. Okay. Yeah, you know this is a track monster. This comes with the special color, Senna seats. It's fully loaded with carbon inside. Is nobody has it. Whatever we price it, that's the price for the car because nobody is there to negotiate with us. To be honest. So what, what, what do you ask for this? This one, 2.6 million. 2.6? Yeah. That's the price. And that's the regular 765 LT coupe with the air scoop and comfort seats and everything. So we have the two cars here. Okay. And this one is priced at 2.3. That one is priced at 2.6. Okay. So, so yeah. 2.6. Carbon, carbon air scoops and everything. Oh, it's very, it's very, it's very cool. With this is, with, in, in Europe, McLaren, in Italy, McLaren uh -huh. are not so popular because, of course, we have Italian brands. Yes, of as course. As you can imagine, but it's a very interesting car. And but then you have, oh, Yeah, this we have this, the McLaren Speedtail, a one out of 106 pieces made worldwide. This is a brand new car. What can I say? It's a, it's an art, artwork so from McLaren. It's a sort of prototype, in fact. Yeah, you, you wouldn't still believe this is still available for road. It still yeah. looks like something from yeah, the future. In the motor show or something, yeah. with the central seats <laughs> and the... Like the F1 central seat position, cameras for side view mirrors, automatic doors. Uh, this one is hybrid, more than a thousand horsepower, can go up to 400 kilometers per hour. You wouldn't still... This doesn't look like a car which is supposed to be on 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like 2030s, 2040s. Can come back to the yeah. future, yeah. And then uh, we have this one. This is rare. Yeah. You, this is ultimately rare. This one is the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren Sterling Moss. One of 75 pieces made worldwide. This is the best condition car available at the moment on the Sterling Moss. It's brand new as well. It's brand new. Yeah, I brand mean, new. How many kilometers? <laughs> it would be roughly around 600, 700. 600, 700. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's a masterpiece. Right. I saw it in the long time ago at the Mille Miglia. Yeah. Mille Miglia. What is the price for this? This one, we are selling it at 15 million euros. 15 million euros? Yeah. This is a very rare collection we have. I don't remember the power of this car. It's, uh, this is around above 600. 600. Okay. Yeah. It was a lot for the for the time. For that time, yeah, and uh, a car without roof, no, that's no, a, a good a, horsepower, yeah. And then you see a collection of Ferrari SF, SF90. It's uh, a <laughs> yeah. You you. This. Uh, you take all this car. I mean it. <laughs> It's incredible to see all these cars. Even in Maranello, it's difficult to see all these F6. <laughs> this one is the SF90, the latest hybrid, 1,000 horsepower yeah. from Ferrari. The fastest for now. 
and all of them are actually Assetto Fiorano package. Assetto all of them, Fiorano. Oh. yeah, all of them are equipped with the Assetto Fiorano package. And this one we have is the first SF90 Spider with Assetto Fiorano package for sale in the world. Nobody has it. Nobody has it for sale. Comes with the carbon roof, and the, the uh, carbon carbon alloys. Carbon, alloys. It's very beautiful. Carbon spoilers, carbon bucket seats, it's fully loaded, fully loaded. Nobody has it. And you are the first. Yeah, <laughs> we are the first one. We, all, we were also the first one to receive the SF90 Spider, the normal one in the world. First one to receive. Then we have a range of colors like a toy shop. And then we have oh, this it. one, which is special. This is a SF90 Stradale. Not with a set of Fiorano okay. package. This is a one of one tailor made. Ah, yes, because it's a special color. Also yeah. This, this special livery with white. special color. This one is a one of one tailor made. It's, a, it's called the Ispirizioni, which okay. is inspiration, Inspiration's of course, yes, yes, yes. from a 1934 Ferrari 330 GT. And you also discourage the. Okay. You have it here. Ispiriozoni. Okay. Yeah. Ok, Enrico, fallo vedere se tu vuoi ispirazioni scritto sul battitacco. Sono tailor made. And in the middle of the seats you have the dedicated plate written from which car it was inspired from. Over okay. here. Ah, in the center. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Also the color, I mean it's... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. 1964, Ferrari 330. Okay. GT 2 plus 2, that's what this car is inspired from. Okay. It's a special color called the Azzurro Dino. Azzurro Dino? Yeah. Okay. So with oh, comfort this seats. Color, this color is very... It's a special it's one, very, very special. special. You yeah, wouldn't but... think a Ferrari like in this color, you know, that's not the first thing that comes to your mind. Special, it's, the, the, yeah, the it's all here, around the car. Because it's puncture, so it's a, I think it's three layer or four layer. Maybe yeah. Also, also in the front lip and in the back, there's the small silver lining. It's amazing to see. I mean, the number of SF90 with the yeah. with the with the with the plug. Every. <laughs> now it's a problem on. for you to with a plugging car that you have to to manage all these cables. Nobody on. has it like this. That's the best part for us. And you know, SF90s, that's the new Ferraris. Yeah. They are going to grow up. Of course, we need them. People are going to need it. And there's no option then to come over here. Fiorano, 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 Fiorano. I never, I never, I personally, I never, even during the presentation of the car in Maranello, I never see all <laughs> this number of. And, and all these cars are by not from Ferrari, but you, as you yeah, said before. These are all our cars. So you, you buy like a client, in fact. Yeah, we buy it from other people. Okay. And then, yeah, of course, we sell it here for a good price, competitive price in the market. So because, you know, usually when you order a SF90, it will take you at least more than a year for a okay. waiting period for you to receive the car. Over here, you just have to wait until the end of the day and the car is yours. So, Okay. Do you understand how it works? They buy back the world's rarest and most in-demand supercars from customers who have just received them and are obviously willing to part with them for a profit. It's a practice that has been going on for years, and while it's not authorized by the manufacturers, that's just the way the world works. I'll tell you what the risks are later. And then you see, I see a... A legend that. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, This is a super fast, no. That's a... Uh, F12 TDF. F12 TDF, yeah. Yeah. That's a special one. This is fully loaded, fully equipped with all the carbon packages, interior, exterior, red Alcantara interior as well. This is a 2017 GCC specification, brand new car. This is a brand new F12 TDF. I have two of them with the same spec. One is slightly used, and this one is brand new. <laughs> Wonderful. It's incredible. That's how it is. And you have also mo mo motor motorcycles. Yeah, these are the two motorcycles the we have at the moment. 
This is the Ducati Diavel. Diavel Lamborghini. Yeah, Lamborghini, the limited one, one of 630 pieces in the world. Okay. So these, both of them are sold. So we are, it's here for them, for the customers to collect. Well, we don't know when, but yeah, it's good for a showpiece. The same color of the... Cyan 63, yeah. And then we, we are in the Porsche world. Yeah, then oh, we... A little bit of Ferrari more, but and then... We have the Porsches arranged in an order, if you notice. Yeah. A Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport, a Porsche 911 GT2 RS, 911 GT2 RS, GT3, 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 GT3. All the, of them the are rarest, the, the rarest Porsche 911 in the world. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's amazing. These ones are special colors. This is the 992, basically, the latest one the facelifted model okay yeah so we drove we drove a lot this is lovely. this one's lovely. a beautiful car and uh, still not available here in the local dealership okay, so, so that's what it makes it special the reason why it's yeah it's here okay. so you have shark blue racing yellow with a manual transmission and then you have crayon you have the black these are all the 2021s and then you have the 2017, the special GT3, okay. which they came out for the exclusive clients who want to do the track days okay. and want to go to the track with okay. their car. So this is also a special one. And, and also the, the price of the GT2 RS, which is the rarest in fact. The Club Sport? The Club Sport, yeah. That one is 2 million 180. 2 million 180. Yeah, this one is a one of two hundred. One of two hundred. It's okay. a but limited one. I know one. that the, the, there is a. It's very difficult to find. It's it. very and, difficult. And they, they finish the car. I want yeah. to, to see a little bit more of this car because it's, I never see from live. I mean, just in the motor show. It's a. By show. This is very. This is very brave. This is ultimately light. Imagine how light the car would be. It's around 1,400 kilograms, roughly. So carbon hood, carbon roof, carbon spoilers. And just check this out. <laughs> yeah. But this is ready for, I mean, for the race. So yeah. It's incredible. You cannot circulate. In, you can circulate with this or not? No. You can? You can circulate with this. Track? No, track, yes, in, uh, on the road. On the, the road, road no, it the road. is slightly road legal, something like where you get a permission just to go to the track and come back. Okay. Just for, I think in Germany it would be allowed with a special number plate. Okay. You go to the track, you race. Have to go to, okay. Only to the track, race, and come back home. Okay. I think it's allowed only for that purpose. For that purpose. But over here, it's not road legal. But yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's quite. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's a little bit. Uh, imagine important. the amount of downforce you would get from this car. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy. It's, it's really a crazy. special car we have, and then we also have more special ones over here, the AMG GT Black Series in orange, white, matte grey. So we have two orange, basically one is parked downstairs. We have a white, right. all of them are brand new, 2022s, 2021. So you have two more in the garage? We have one more, yeah. One more in the garage. Then Black Series. Yeah, and then we have this one, special one. This is a Mercedes-Benz SL65 Black Series as a real car. And then this was tuned and body kit by Brabus. And it was named as Telt 65. This is, uh, I, uh, I remember this, an this, article about this. This one is a one of one. One of one. Yeah. It's the only car in the entire world. This is for a real collector enthusiast for Mercedes-Benz. Yeah. Uh, this is more than a 800 horsepower 800. V12 by turbo. It's called the Stealth 65. This is the only SL65 Black Series which was done and tuned by Brabus. In the, in the price for this? This is 2.25 million dirhams, yeah. You remember all the price? Of course. 
you have to be ready to sell yeah. in the, in the, in the Anything correct time. Anything you guys ask, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And then we also have this one, the SLR McLaren, which is uh, tuned and body kit by Mansuri. Okay, Mansuri, yeah. Yeah. So this is oh, the, the name, Renovaccio. This is also a 2006, only 4,000 kilometers driven. Four, four, 4, kilometers. Yeah, 4,000 kilometers, around 630 horsepower. Okay. It's a very special one. Interior as well was done by Monturi. And what about, I mean, see, again, Ferrari, you have a lot of more, because I thought that Ferrari area was there, but you have a lot of also in this part. So I think uh, I see some. We have a 488 Pista, 488 F8, Pista. Spider, 812 GTS, F12 TDF, 458 Speciale, 16M Scuderia. We have the other 812s over there, SF90s over there, and 488 Pistas over there. We, you could say we are a Ferrari fans. I can imagine the music when you, you have to move one of these cars and you have to, deplay, you have to, to move all these. No, unfortunately, uh, actually we have some experienced people here driving our cars, so which they make it easier. They just remove the two cars in the back. You have a and strategy, take yeah. this strategy. Okay. You, because that's how it works easy for them to remove the cars yeah, and yeah, yeah. go back. So there is a strategy of uh, Yeah, of so for removing this car, they just pull that car out and they go outside. Yeah. What about Lamborghini? You have a... Uh, we, ha we do have more Lamborghinis here. Okay. Please. Of course, Bentley. This is a special one. Thank you. This is a special one also. Why? It's a, uh, it's a Continental GT Mulliner okay. W12. They don't make okay. any more. Yeah. So this, this is, is a special one, 2021, brand new car. Price? This is 1.3 million dirhams. With even, you see, even a small touch in the brake calipers, the special color blue. Okay. Amazing. And also, the color that you can find here for yeah, the, this, this Rolls. one, this one is a 2021, brand new Rolls Royce, great black badge. Okay. Which was part of the Neon Knights edition. Okay. Where they made only four pieces of them. Four one piece. was for display and three was for sale. And this is one of them. This is a factory paint. Do you remember the, color, the, the name of this color? They no. say it lime rock green. Lime, lime rock green. Yeah. Lime. It was inspired from a tree frog from okay. the forests. It was uh, inspired. We, they made two more. One for the Cullinan and one for the Dawn. For the Dawn, they were inspired from a flower in Hawaii, or orange. Color. This one also a special one. Price for this? This one is 2.1 million dirhams. 2.1. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it would definitely when you drive around, everyone's going to look at uh, you. Yeah, for sure. For <laughs> sure. And that is Lamborghini World. Yeah. So we have the Aventador, the two Aventador. This is the Aventador SV, 2016, 3,000 miles done on the clock. This one's a Novitec body kit and exhaust. This one's 2.2, of course, it's a one of 500 SV Roadster. And then we have this one, SV J63, one of 63, special car. Of course, every, six, every one of them were uniquely specced and made. It's a 2019 GCC specification. The combination is a good spec. And this is STO already. And yeah, Where you know what it is. Yeah with a special color and graphics yeah. this one's a brand new car and uh, unfortunately this is the last of its kind after this i uh, they will go to the hybrid era this yeah. will be the last wheat and naturally aspirated what sad do you think? what do you think about the hybrid era <laughs> personally personally i'm not a fan of them i love cars cars are my life my passion everything going to an era where you don't have the proper engine on it with the naturally aspirated power. It's kind of sad, but what to do? That's the future. That's how we are going in towards five year, In five years, probably the, 
the 50 percent, no, 10 years, the 50 percent of this garage, this dealer will be. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that's the market. So later on, even nowadays, even in London, I guess they have some specific areas where only zero emission cars have to go there. So yeah, we are going to the end of an era as well. And we have this one, it's also a special one. It's a Lamborghini Huracan Evo GT Celebration. GT Celebration. This is a paintwork, yeah. not stickers. This is a paintwork, only these kind of ones are stickers. This is a one of 36 in the world. 36. Yeah, you even have the badge on the side, over here. You have this ad person M, one D36. This is a special car where uh, they did a small tribute to the races, okay. which they won in the Daytona 24 hours, okay. 2019 18, Serbring 12 hours. So they had a spe the similar paint jobs, yeah. So they made only 36 for a specific market. Price? This one is. 1.375 yeah you know as you said when we saw the mclaren it's not much uh famous in italy because it's an english brand and everything you go to an any kid any kid any country any kid what's your favorite car lamborghini ferrari because these cars are from the childhood dreams so these ones with attractive design attractive colors and the sound they make. There's no cars which this cars can, the similar sounds which these Italian engines make, nobody else makes it. You know, that uh, nice V12, V10. So when I was a kid, my favorite car is a Ferrari. When you go to my kid 10 years later, what's your favorite car? It will be a Ferrari. It is Italian brand, everybody knows that. So over here, it's very popular. Here in UAE, Ferraris and Lamborghinis are very, very popular car. What supercar you have, Lamborghini? Ah, you're, a, you're a good guy. You have a good car. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of things. Oh my God. And if you don't, if you don't have a uh, sports, very super sports, we have a super yeah. SUV. And even this one, SUV, you, like you have the Collinans, you have the G63s, the Bentegas. These are all the popular cars here in Dubai. These are like the fast selling and most, everyone prefers an SUV over here. And you know, looking at a Urus, you just know that this is something where you, it is a family SUV, but where you have so much fun with it. That aggressiveness you see in the car, most of the SUVs you see will have that subtle off-roading, family, classy look. But when you see a Urus, you know this guy, his wife didn't allow him to buy a Huracan or Aventador, so he went for Speaking an Urus. Really for the, on the, on the desert. Yeah. A this is a matte finish paint. Okay. This is the graphite capsule edition okay. from factory with the special accents, orange accents on the side, on the front lip and the back spoiler. There is always a reason why you, you have the car yeah. here. I mean, we have to, even the painted rims inside with Alcantara interior. Yeah. Oh, this is very beautiful there. Yeah. Yeah, carbon fiber matte finish with Alcantara leather interior. Look, when, when for example, when you're coming here, you want to spend 2 million, 3 million, 15 million, whatever it is. You know you want to be unique. You don't want to be just the same as everyone has it. You want to be separate from so some you're everyone. You're very propositionally real to be, I mean, you want a supercar, but you want uh, the common supercar yeah. that you can find in a dealer. You don't want what everyone has. A red Ferrari, everyone has it. But a blue Ferrari, a yellow Ferrari, it's not easy to find. So these kind of cars are something special, which, uh, and it, it is, we are also happy to sell these cars because we are the only ones to have it these kind of specs and everything is owned by us that's also a proud thing to say yeah. you know and then, and then you have a, an amazing collection of g-class which is what I, I i love this car I mean. yeah this one as you know this is one of the most most popular cars in the gcc countries a g-class every arab would love Everybody to have dream, it dream this car yeah in alternative every growing 
15 Arabs, they want a G-Class. It's, it's like a culture here. It's, and this uh, color is amazing. Yeah, this is called the desert sand color. Desert sand, yeah. yeah. Of course. So this one is like a culture here in Dubai. Like everyone wants to own one. It's like a status symbol, you know? How yeah. do you say it? That's, because that's how it of is. Of course, it's a someone that is, it's, it's, a, it's a car that you, that you can use really yeah. in, in everyday a, car. In, a different, in difficult conditions. And the way the road presence of this car is incredible. The way it looks on the road, it looks enormous. You feel like. Uh, I'm the king of the road, the seating position, and everything. The new, the new generation is incredibly comfort. Co yeah, comfort. they are. They are and more powerful, more comfortable, uh, more practical also. Mm -hmm. So this is getting very popular more and, and the is price is increasing also every day. Yeah. yeah. And what is the, the value of this? this the over what we have, they start from 825,000 dirhams. 800. Up to one million forty, one million sixty. Because are all the specs, the colors, the uh, year, the mileage, everything. Uh, also, because you can, you have to wait a lot to. Uh, yeah, to for example, uh, for uh, there is a special colors nowadays which comes with the Nardo gray, okay. China blue, olive green. These kind of cars you have to wait for at least a year. We all, we had all those. It was it just flew. Just like that. Came here one day later, sold. One day later, but sold. How long is the life of one of your cars here in this dealer? I mean, what is the time? That like G63s, basically, it keeps selling. We have to bring one every day. We just, whatever we find, we just bring it. We park it. One goes down, we bring another one upstairs. One sells, one, we bring another one. Sells, bring another one. Maybe one week, one, one and a half weeks. That's how long it will stay. If it's a good car with good options, One next day uh, also it will sell. So you have to work a lot to find new cars. Yeah, we have to. That's that's the that's the hard situation where you when you find a good spec, you keep it. It sells in a day. Imagine bringing another one with a similar spec or much better ones and things like that. I never see personally, and lo dico anche in italiano, non ho mai visto personalmente tre Rolls Royce Cullinan vicine. Three. Yeah, three, we have three. three and you're actually a little late. They are all sold out. It was like, it just flew like this. It's incredible. That's what I mean. When you, when you have a good, good spec, it, it doesn't, they don't care how much it is because it's unique. Nobody's going to have it. And then over here you have the Bentley Bentegas. All of them are the V8 versions, the latest one. And this one is also the latest one, Bentley Bentega S, mm -hmm. which comes with the sporty specification and all that with Alcantara and leather interior as well. What is the cheapest car that you have? Everyone questions me this. Huh? <laughs> no, the because cheapest. For the cheapest is, is easy, is easy to, to say which is the, the, the more Cheap. expensive, the cheapest. The cheapest the one. The Defender we... maybe. Yeah. That one is 440,000 dirhams. For? 440,000 dirhams. For now, that's the cheapest, yes. And is it a special edition because it's very... This one is a Defender 90X. It's a two-door, yeah. One of the uh, high specification ones. Yeah, I remember because I make an interview to the designer. Frascella, which is an Italian designer of this car. Yeah. Massimo Frascella. Okay. And I made the interview with this car in five door configuration. Okay, yeah. this one, is, all, two doors are always popular here and also more expensive than the five door versions. Yeah. These ones are more expensive this because more lighter, more smaller, nice for the desert, nice for off roading and everything. People go to the desert really with the car? I mean, it's, it's something that you. you that's, that's all you have to do in Dubai. Enjoy, take all the cars. So if someone who buy one car like this, go to the desert with this car, not maybe this car, maybe. Yeah, they do, some people do, but we don't know if they would take their cars over there, but if you see a lot of locals here, they take any car to the desert. Even I've seen a Rolls Royce Cullinan on the desert. I've seen the, I've seen a S63 Benz on a desert, everything they will take it to the desert. It's a popular thing over here. And uh, it, when you enter the desert, it's like a freedom. You can do whatever you want with the cars, you know. 
and so it's this is the reason why to have a SUV it's a yeah SUVs are very popular here everybody wants an SUV because literally you can take an SUV anywhere over here sure. this one yeah this one was the launch spec of course yeah. we have two of them the black, glossy black and the launch spec this one is priced at uh, 1.4 million one? dirhams yeah and that one is 1.3 million dirhams this comes with the Alcantara interior, and that one is with the leather interior, brown leather interior. Can I open? Yeah, sure. This very and you have to wait more than one year to have yeah, one Yeah, and it's still not available here in the local dealership. So this is the reason why the price. So if you want an MC20 in uh, UAE, that's the only place you have to come. The ability of this dealer to find, buy, and resell supercars to those who can afford them and are willing to pay handsomely for them is incredible. And I would also like to point out the luxuriousness of the space itself, including the lighting of the cars, the corner bar restaurant for customers, and the professional staging room used to take the perfect shots for the dealer's Instagram. Dubai really is another world, another market, and the fact that supercars are flying off the shelves is something that the Lamborghini dealer down the street is well aware of. A brand like Lamborghini always is in high demand. Lumber, uh, UAE in general is a growing market. Dubai specifically has been expanding uh, quite strongly since uh, the end of the pandemic area and uh, now we have a very high demand for the product. As you can see the showroom we have a very hard time keeping it full. Uh, the Urus is really our flagship here because it's the most suitable uh, for the market here uh, and the market requirements and the lifestyle but also the entire uh, market uh, range of Lamborghini has been doing outstandingly well. The Aventador is sold out, as you know, globally. The Hurricane uh, is uh, one of the most reliable cars in the segment and one of the most desirable cars in the segment as well. And a lot of people have been enjoying the car here. The waiting list, how long is it, I mean, in general? On average, if you are ordering a car, it's one year. Now, uh, this is something that we always try to adapt for their market requirements because a lot of people are enjoy they, when they want a car, they want it as soon as possible. But if you are ordering a car personalized to your requirements, it will take approximately one year. Circumventing this wait time is tempting for many, but there is a catch. Beyond the fact that you can't access the customization and loyalty programs that the premium brands offer, you also risk losing your warranty because an imported car may not have the correct specs for each particular market. At the Lamborghini workshop, they explain to us that, for example, in the Emirates there are special adjustments needed for the cars due to the country's temperatures and presence of sand. But I've got a feeling that if a billionaire breaks a car, buying another one is anything but a problem. But ultimately, all of this is still a good thing for the enthusiasts who can only afford to look at these cars through the window.